you have sort of insight to this, and you were kind of reading Aaron, and I think Aaron is the reason you brought that story up. Yes. yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take over for a second. He's a guy who's just, he's a nerd. He's, he's a nerdy guy. The only thing he's ever done in his life probably smoked a little weed and maybe, you know, had too many, uh, where they drink up in Minneapolis up there, the uh, Grain Belt Premium. He probably had one too many grainies <laughs> and maybe smoked a little weed one night. And then all of a sudden, his wife is on this podcast with Chrissy Mayer. And Chrissy Mayer goes, oh, hey, have you met Nick? I guess you guys live close to each other. And I saw Nick's eyes just light up. He's like, oh. Oh, really? Somebody with no podcast numbers lives in my community. Hmm. I could do whatever I want to them because they're going to want to suck my dick to get my million dollar super chats. And then uh, he invites them over. <laughs> they get to know each other. And now they're popping uh, mollies. Ecstasies. But the thing with Aaron is Aaron didn't, Aaron didn't see anybody guy trying to fuck his wife. He just saw a guy that was successful in podcasting and he can't he's been scratching and clawing every day he gets something he's like i'm so much better than everybody else i'm a radio guy and he sees this guy succeeding and all he all he does is talk about okay out if i hang out with this guy maybe i could get some ratings too. figure out what he's doing how he's cheating and the next thing you know you're over there and they pour you out a couple of drinks and you're like okay and all of a sudden they bring out this this Ziploc bag full of pills and they're like and they both take one and then they look at your wife and she goes oh fuck it steel toe let's just try it once and then Aaron's sitting there with the pill in his hand looking going hmm if I want to increase my ratings I gotta be friends with this guy and if I don't do this drug right now oh my god what's gonna happen he's not gonna be my friend so he'll pop it so what happens after you've been drinking, smoking a little weed, and popping an ecstasy? What happens? All of a sudden, the girls sit next to each other. And next thing you know, I'm touching my wife, he's touching their wife. All of a sudden, their wives are kissing. Next thing you know, you're, you've had this just group sex thing going on. You know, anything goes. Any touch feels great. You're high. You've never been high before. You don't know what the hell's going on. Everything feels good. The back of your neck is hot, sweating, but you got a throbbing hard cock and you're ready to go. And his little, tiny little wife, uh, she maybe weighs 80 pounds. And then you're like, you know what? I'll fuck his wife. I guess if she wants, all right, let's do it. You know, you get done, you both come, you both get in the car and you're sitting in the car. That is the longest drive home. It's the most quiet, gut-wrenching drive home. And then to get in the shower, and then you sit on your side of the bed, you just stare at the wall, and she stares at the other wall. You wake up the next day, and he's like, holy shit. Holy shit, what did I do? Oh my god, no. Holy shit, no. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, oh, my kids. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Doing.